What's up guys, Shehbaz here. So according to the leaker, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra model and Xiaomi 14 Pro with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 are set to beat Apple's iPhone 15 Pro with the new Apple A17 Bionic chipset. At least on paper, Qualcomm should change course and beat the clock speed of the Apple A17 Bionic. In the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, a leaker gives more specs for the chipset which is expected in Xiaomi 14 and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra model by spring 2024, at least and should start even earlier this year, with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 based on 4nm TSMC. Qualcomm has a really good chipset at the start of this year, which makes you forget how heated and completely weak the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 from the previous year was and of course the Exynos 2200 from the competitor and business partner Samsung. For a long time, Apple had a much too easy game with its own A-series development. But unless the boys and girls from Cupertino step on the gas pedal, it will be much more difficult in the next few years of iPhones that compete with Android in terms of performance to show the barriers. The Twitter user RG Clouds also gave a potential outlook on the future of the planned Qualcomm chipsets a few weeks ago. Impressive Geekbench results for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 could be read elsewhere, and this flagship SoC should be launched even earlier this year, which is the time window between the iPhone 15 Pro launch in the September, and Xiaomi 14 or Samsung Galaxy S24 could be further shortened. However, current information on the next Qualcomm mobile platform is not yet entirely reliable. So far, there has been talking of a OnePlus 5 Plus 2 cluster configuration of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. But RG Clouds is now again calling the OnePlus 4 Plus 3 setup known from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with Cortex-X4 at the top. The Cortex-X3 successor from the ARM chipset Forge is to be chased up to 3.7 GHz in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which means that Qualcomm should be faster than the Apple A17 Bionic chipset, at least on paper. It remains to be seen whether the Cortex-X4, which will probably be officially launched at Computex at the end of May 2023, can actually beat Apple's ARM architecture in terms of the performance. But at least the gap should continue to decrease. The leaker indicates a larger leap in performance than in the last generation. Whether the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is actually already being manufactured on a 3nm basis, as was recently claimed, is not yet certain. In general, all of these rumors should be viewed with a lot of skepticism from the time being. Solid evidence still remains. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care of yourself very well. Peace out.